What's up guys, Greg Mack here. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of maintenance tonight uh, because I was lazy in the fall after my last extraction, which I had done my full extraction and then later, about a month later, I did some more when it was a little bit cooler and I never properly cleaned my uncapping tank or my extractor. So I got myself a couple gallons of hot water and I just scrubbed my extractor down. It's warm here in Philly today. It was up in the 70s, although it's going to get cold again. Uh, I took taking this opportunity to do this work because just because the temperature will help me a bit in my pursuit of getting this stuff clean. Now, there wasn't much in the way of honey in this, maybe a pound of honey, uh, but the walls were all sticky and my friend actually wants to use the extractor tomorrow, so I'm going to get it all cleaned up for him tonight. I also have my uncapping tank, which again, I, I left the capping sit, but I never got to cleaning out the, uh, the tank itself. So I am going to save a couple of pints of the crystallized honey uh, for my grafting and, and uh, just to have it around as, as uh, for queens. But right now I'm just cleaning out this you can see if you've never seen crystallized honey before it's it looks like brown it's like brown sugar almost it's real thick kind of grainy uh, but still still semi-liquid so having all this stuff I thought maybe it'd be a neat idea to mix this up I, I don't feed sugar um, I do my very very best not to feed sugar syrup because uh, I want my bees to be as natural as possible in their pursuits. Uh, I'm not looking down on people that feed sugar, and I do feed sugar syrup when I have to. Uh, my, some of my splits, some of my, uh, well, usually just for splits. When I make small two-frame splits, I will feed sugar if I don't have the honey frames available. Now, that was last year. Now, this year, I have... If you can see these supers, I got 40, uh, 30, 46, and another 16, 64 frames, something like that right now, worth of capped honey to give back to the bees this spring and to use for my splits and to uh, really use however I need to to feed the bees back honey instead of sugar syrup. So after I cleaned out the extractor, and I clean up this bucket, I'm gonna mix up that crystallized honey in that water and I'm gonna put that out as sugar syrup. Uh, let me know if you've ever done this. I have seen some posts and some people who have talked about doing that and I don't see any reason why it would be a problem. It is just watered down honey. Um, and I assume that the bees are gonna use it, but we'll see, maybe they won't. If not, then, you know, uh, I'll just get rid of it, but I can't see them not using it, especially early here in the spring where we've got uh, warm temps, but we've got another week or so down in the 30s and 40s. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to take advantage of this, this, this warm time to get the bees really stocked up because they're primed and I cracked some boxes and man, they're, they're, they're really jammed. So I'm going to see how this works. I've never tried it before. Maybe if you have. Let me know how it worked out for you in the comments and what you did uh, in your process. I'm always looking forward to hearing other ideas and making my own decision about what's best for me in my situation. Um, and I've been entertaining the idea of doing one of these live sessions one of these days to discuss things like this, tips and tricks. You know, we everybody talks about splits and queen rearing and all that kind of stuff and sometimes it's nice to just talk about some of this practical everyday stuff that we get into that doesn't always uh, isn't always addressed and sometimes in a live format you can do that a little bit better so anyway I hope you enjoy this video I hope your spring is uh, busy and you're getting ready and if you're already into bees and, and loving summertime then keep on rocking because uh, we're all jealous of you here uh, where it's still a little chilly uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Later.